Shower of Love Sit down, close your eyes, come to rest, and give yourself some time, some time to breathe. Time to just be. Give yourself some time to sit. Giving yourself time is giving yourself love. Giving yourself love is giving yourself energy. Breathe gently into the stomach. Giving yourself energy is giving yourself success, abundance, and health. Patience is one of the best things you can give yourself. Let go of pressuring or harassing yourself. On the out-breath. Let go of judgments about yourself. Let go of judgments about your life. I am giving myself the space to feel whatever I feel. I am giving myself space to think whatever I think. And right now I'm giving myself space to be whatever I am. Whatever I've been doing and being in the last hours, days, weeks, and months, I accept.
giving yourself space is giving yourself love and energy. So I just sit here and give myself the time and space. Nothing more, nothing less. the time and space to just sit putting an end to the rat race many people call daily life I have the dignity to just sit breathe feel now give yourself some attention soft attention to the body Soft attention to what is felt. Soft attention to the being or energy field that you are right now. Give every aspect of what you are some attention. Your legs, your back, your stomach, your chest, your head, your space, the air and atmosphere around you, the mind, the mood, Giving yourself attention is giving yourself love and energy. Giving yourself love and energy is giving yourself success, health and abundance. It's as simple as that.
letting the love flow gradually softens, calms, solves, dissolves any sort of hardness, stuckness, fixation, block, any sort of rigidity melts. You're simply sitting there giving yourself some attention. Attention goes inward instead of only being focused externally. Could you let go of judging yourself, your life, and your body? Could you let go of preaching to yourself, pressuring yourself, just for now? Could you let go of criticism and just let yourself and others be for once? And then give yourself some more time, space, and attention. Can you expand the time, space, and attention you give yourself? There's always more. Allow the attention energy to flow and overflow every part of your body and being. Allow the attention to be imbued with loving kindness. Allow yourself to become softer now. Now just briefly 
have a look at how you've been judging yourself in the past hours, days, and weeks. And just for now, can you let go of judging yourself? Can you just breathe it out, cut it out? Just drop it for now. And have a look at how you've been pressuring yourself in the last hours, days, and weeks. And just for now, let go of pressuring yourself. Just drop it on the out-breath. Stop giving that your attention. Look at how you've been trying to control yourself in the last days and weeks. And for now, drop it. Let go of trying to control yourself on the out-breath. Release control. Let the domino pieces fall as they may. Send yourself some more love. Send yourself some more respect. And if you like, imagine giving yourself energy in any form you prefer. Imagine giving yourself light, overflowing with light, brightness, inner joy, a warm glow. Or you could imagine yourself in full success, in your best state. That too is giving yourself love, imagining the next higher version of you. Imagining good outcomes is giving yourself love. And now have a look at what you've been rejecting and resisting in your life. Anything you reject or resist tends to get stuck in your field of attention, stuck in your energy field. Can you see it's a waste of energy? If you wish to reverse the flow of energy, release the resistance.
tell that thing that you've been resisting to move on, move along, disappear, dissipate. Instead of saying no, find what you say yes to, what you'd like instead, what you prefer instead you've been resisting. Whatever you've been rejecting, look at its opposite and say yes to that. Just for a moment, can you act as if you put the thing that you've been rejecting into your life, as if you created that? Can you take responsibility? And then once again, look at what you prefer instead of that and say yes to what you prefer. Embrace the negative that you've attracted. Breathe it in so that you can let it go. You first need to have it. And then embrace the positive that you'd like instead so that you can attract it. Welcome your entire life now as it is. Breathe it all in, embrace it all. All the events, all the people. One by one or all at once. Extend love to whatever's happening in your life right now. Extend love to whatever people are in your life right now. You've given yourself the love. Now you can share it with the world. Mentally say to another person, may you find joy and peace and prosperity. Embrace it all. Say yes to it all. Yes to life. Yes to others, yes to yourself. Yes to your reality. As if you were responsible for your reality. As you stop resisting the energy, the energy starts flowing once again. It's no longer blocked so that life can change 
to the positive. And can you imagine receiving the same love that you gave yourself and gave others from the highest source in the universe? Can you imagine receiving space, time, and attention from source? And can you imagine receiving love unconditionally, being unconditionally appreciated by the source? And can you imagine receiving love space, time, and attention from other people. And can you imagine passing on all that love you received to others so that it circulates from source to you, from you to others, from others to you, and so forth. A shower of love. And because you feel much better now, it is recommended you repeat this process at some other time. My name is Fred Dotson of realitycreation.org.